Welcome everyone, it's Gracier Gamrock with Gracier as always. A little bit different video if you see the title. And uh, yeah, so it's a little transmog guide for Horde players on how to acquire this vest. Now this vest is called the Farmhands Vest and it is a transmogable item for the, that replaces the Calico Tunic. Now the Calico Tunic, both factions can farm, the Alliance and the Horde can get it. However, you cannot use it as transmog because the Calico Tunic, as you can see, is a gray item. The farmhand vest, though, is a green item. It's got stats on it, but only available through a quest on the Alliance side, specifically only available to cloth wearers who do the quest. Now, it's a quest that's in the Draenei, uh, one of the Draenei starting zones. Any cloth user of any level Alliance side can go do the quest. If anyone, if I try to do it on my Death Knight as first, discovering that the quest now, it, uh, back in the day, you used to be able to pick which gear you wanted. Now it's a uh, gear, it's like uh, class specific, you know, the mail gets mail, plate gets plate, whatever. But this one will only give you cloth if you're a cloth user. So if you have a mage or a warlock or a priest or whatever, you can go over and do this quest. I decided to do this farm up real quick for those that don't have any alliance characters and just want to get this transmog vest as fast as possible. Let's take a look at the vest itself real quick. I'll move on over the scene. Move that over there. So, uh, yeah, it's it basically... The Calico Tunic looks exactly like this. Use the same model, and it is a strapless, well, it's a backless tunic. You know, it's, it's got some sweet straps here, and, uh, yeah, I call this, like, my farmhand set. Uh, now, obviously, you can use it for a bunch of different sets. I don't have a lot of really good transmog pants for cloth, so I kind of just went with these white pants and these boots here. Uh, so, hopefully, and I, what is, oh, this is a... <laughs> This is a legendary, because this character is like 111, so it still has her legendaries active. That's what the shimmering light is. And I put a scythe on the back. But this is one of those things where I, a long time ago I had the Calico Tunic, and uh, I really liked how it looked on my Blood Elf. Now, this is the same character. It was originally a Blood Elf, then went Undead, and then went Nightborn. Because uh, when Nightborn came out, I thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah, let's gonna, well, I'm going to go through the quest line. Uh, I'm just basically going to go, it's, it was like about an hour and ten minutes, I'm going to speed up the footage, I'm going to clip the footage out a little bit, and kind of explain uh, how you're supposed to do it, so hopefully the whole video is not very long, and uh, let's get into it. So, hope you enjoy the guide. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to get, make yourself a Draenei character. Uh, you can make a priest or a mage, because that's pretty much the only two cloth users that uh, I can tell. They're Draenei, and uh, so yeah, I made myself a mage. And I just hit randomize a couple times until I found something I really want to make. <clears throat> Got to get yourself into the character. So yeah, you know, this looks good. Just get into the character select screen, hit the ender world, and obviously I, I edited out a bunch of loading and whatever. So you get yourself, you show a fair amount, and you want to go around, and you want to smash out all the quests. Uh, and the, unfortunately, you don't get uh, Blink until level 13, so if you're doing it on a mage... It's going to be a little bit slower. If you don't have the sure fro show firm out, this is going to take a lot longer. So I recommend uh, grinding that out. I think you have to have 20 heirlooms. Don't forget to put your heirlooms on, actually. You know, it makes it a lot faster. And yeah, you just go around the the little starting area. Just kind of burn your way through. Uh, and uh, yeah, just killing some mobs, doing some quests. It's very linear in this first starting zone, which which is actually pretty nice. You learn how you learn that the Draenei have a, a self heal ability. Did know that. Uh, you got the Heart of Naru, which is uh, used up in one of the quests in the future. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. And uh, let's uh, let's skip on over to the next part. So now, once you're done with that uh, the little starting zone, you're gonna get a quest to go all the way to the next little city. Grab a little quest right there. Uh, do this little fishing quest, and it gives you a fishing pole and a bobble. Of course, it's a lot longer. I didn't want to show it all. Uh, you're gonna get up to this uh, little. Uh, what do you call this? What do they call this? Like questing hubs? You get a little, little quest hub area up here. And this is at 500% speed, if you were curious. So basically, just grab all the quests. Just just go full board. Just get everything. Uh, you know, you're you're here for time. You're not here to uh, to worry about it. And uh, yeah, pretty much just look at the map. And just do just do the quest however you want to see in whatever order makes, makes logical sense for you. Uh, I went to Draenor. Because I was going to eventually fly there anyway, so I went to Draenor, well, the Exodar, to get the flight path, do this little quick quest. Uh, and then I went back and I started doing the uh, the other quest. I probably wasn't the most efficient way. You could probably cut this down to under an hour. 
Uh, like I said, this was over an hour and seven minutes for me to do the whole thing. And uh, I'm not going to bore you with uh, the rest of this part. Uh, we're going to skip all the way to the part where we hit level 110. Or not level 110, until we hit the level 10. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So... So now that we're 110, we're going to head up north, up to the Blood Mist Isles. Now, interesting fact, Blood Mist Isles is a level 10 to 60 zone. So theoretically, you could level all the way to 60 by just uh, grinding out mobs, which is kind of interesting. I bring up the fact that uh, the Blizz, uh, BlizzCon um, reward is for uh, this year is a cloak, which I'm not sure if I really want to get the cloak, a banner... So this is the quest that you need. This uh, you basically go around, you get a bunch of uh, pears. Uh, I forget what the name of the quest was, but it's basically the first quest when you get up here. You you can't get it until you're level one, ten. So it's a level thirteen quest. So just once you hit level ten, come up here, grab it. Uh, this is probably not the most efficient way to get all these pears, uh, but I and this is just like I don't know. I got the quest and I wanted to get because you gotta get ten pears and I just wanted to find ten pears. I just didn't care. Uh, but I realized once you go, uh, when you go frost, you lose flame blast and I was using flame blast a lot and I was just like, no, I don't have flame blast. I don't have bags. I don't have anything because I'm playing, you know, cause I play horde. I don't play Alliance. So it's, a, uh, it was a little annoying. Uh, and then I, then I remembered, oh, frost Nova does freeze. Uh, or when you freeze with frost Nova, it does more, ice lines does more damage. And once I remembered that, I was like, oh, oh, never mind, Not a big deal. So now that you got your 10 pairs, you head your way back to the quest giver, turn the quest in, and of course you got to remember the age old thing that uh, your bag's probably full, because I was just complaining about my bags being full. So dump your bags out, get the quest, get the vest, and uh, you're good. You got your item, and uh, yeah, head on over to your horde tune, uh, slap it on, and just delete this stupid Draenei, because you're, you're not going to play it if you're horde. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much how you get the uh, farmhand's vest. So all, for all you Horde that want to go out and get that vest, feel free. Make, a, make an Alliance character real quick. It's about an hour. It could be faster if you pick up Herbalism and Mining, because there are Mining Nodes and Herbalism Nodes on that area of the island. So it could get a little bit more experience as you're going along. Or if you're Alliance and you don't already have the vest, feel free to uh, go get it. So yeah, it's, it's not, not too difficult to get. It just takes a little bit of a grind if you don't already have an Alliance character. And if you have a 110 boost lying around, you can just boost an alliance character i guess if you really wanted if you really want to play alliance i have one alliance character because i had a, a spare boost i don't really ever played it um, but yeah here's how you get the best and i did confirm um that if you delete the alliance character after you had the transmog you still keep the transmog skin uh, i was like well worst case scenario if it doesn't work i'll just level another character and then i'll just won't ever play it uh just to get the the skin but yes once you have it and it's in your account, and it's in your transmog inventory. You can delete the character. Don't worry about it. So that's what I did. Because uh, I don't want a low level 10 Draenei sitting on my character select screen. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys have a great day. See you around, and yeah, later.